going on everybody welcome to the channel and the video review of the Yichin TX03 the 5.8 gigahertz FPV camera system the 3 in 1 it is because it has the antenna the camera and the transmitter all in one so it is 3 in 1 now this VTX is 25 milliwatt, 50 and 200 milliwatt adjustable. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what we got here. Whoops, the instruction manual just flew right out. Let's go ahead and open it. And it has the 600 TV line, FPV camera, and the four leaf right hand circular polarized antenna. And you see a diagram of the VTX right here. And it also has an LED display, guys. And the input power is 2.5 to 5.5 volts. So that is really nice. And guess what? It has 72 channels. And you will see the channel listing right here. It has band A, B, E, F, R, U, O, L, and H. And all of them have eight channels across the line. So you have a total of 72 channels and nine frequencies and eight channels per uh, frequency or band. So let's go ahead and take a look at its functions and take a little test flight and all that later on. But first, uh, it has a video system only in NTSC and there's the current consumption there, 600 TV lines, and the field of view is 120 degrees field of view, and so on and so forth, and the weight is only five grams, all right? So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. All right, as usual, we have that foam casing, so I'm just gonna plop it out. Oh, there's another bottom foam casing there and inside the box we have a connector to transport power from this connector to the uh, 1s battery connectors so let's go ahead and pop it out and check it out there you go it has that nice uh, finished uh, four leaf right hand circular polarized antenna there and it is a little shorter than the other ones that I've gotten before. And there you have the LED display. And that is about it. There is the button to change frequencies, bands, and the, the power uh, output. So we'll take a look at that. And of course, they give you the lens cover as well. Let's put that back in there. And let's power it up and let me quickly demonstrate how you change the channels and such. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to this port here. And then I'm gonna get myself a little 3.7 volt battery. I believe this is a 200 milliamp size, I believe. So let's go ahead and power it up. And there you go. We are powered up and right now what it's doing is it's alternating between the frequency, the channel and the power outage uh, indicated by those three lines there. We are in frequency F and channel four. So I want to change the channel. I'm going to short press this button on the top here. Channel five, channel six, channel seven channel 8, channel 1, channel 2, and so forth. And if I down press it for two seconds, it will start to flicker. And that will indicate now I can short press it to change the band. R, U, O, L, H, A, B, E, and F. Now, down pressing it for five seconds, and hold it it will start to flicker and now you can change the output power it is set on 200 milliwatts oops 
I missed my timing there. So let's do it again. There you go. A short press will be 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatt, and 200 milliwatts. So we'll leave it at 200 milliwatt, and five seconds after the setting is done, it will rotate and alternate between the channel, the frequency, and the output power. All right, so that is about it for this VTX. So let's go ahead and mount it on a quadcopter and see how far we can travel and see what kind of video uh, it delivers. All right. All right, we have the Ichin TX03 mounted on top of the MJX Bugs 3. And what I did was I sandwiched a couple of foam pieces and hot glued it onto the canopy and used a toothpick in between the two sandwiched foam pieces and wrapped the rubber band around the VTX and so it holds it in place but it still moves just in case I get into a crash or anything. All right so you get some foam pieces cut out two of them exactly the same and a couple of slither pieces that I'm going to put in between here between the two big pieces kind of like that and we're going to sandwich those two pieces so you have a little hole in the middle there so let's go ahead and do that and what i'm going to do is put a toothpick right in the middle of it all right so let's go ahead and do that you get some hot glue and you just need a little bit to stick this piece of foam right on it and squeeze it and hold it there there you go now i don't have much glue left all right got more glue put another strip of glue there put that other small piece and squeeze it in place Okay, and now what you want to do is put some glue right in the middle of that area. And you're going to put your toothpick right in there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to glue this thing shut. We put more glue on all of the pieces there. And... We are going to glue this other piece right on top of it. So sandwiching the toothpick in between. Give it a squeeze, let it dry up. Okay, and then what you're going to do is cut the toothpick off and leave a little stem. And that is it, guys. That's all you need to do. Now, you get the VTX. Place it right on top. And all you need now is a little rubber band. You wrap it around the toothpick and go to the opposite side and strap it down. And that's how easy it is. And now you can go ahead and put some hot glue or double side tape and put this on top of a quad cutter and you are ready to go. So that is how I got it mounted on there. And with a 250 milliamp size battery I think it's a 260 milliamp size battery to power the VTX separately from the quad cutter all right and I'll be flying it with the fat shark and be recording it on the fat shark DVR all right so let's go all right here we go again same field different VTX it is the Ichin TX03 all-in-one with the 72 channels and right away I'm headed towards the 100 meter bush and I do make my turn a little further away at around 150 meters and this VTX is doing fine just minor static lines and the day is a bit cloudy today as you can see the sun is hiding behind the clouds there at around 1 o'clock so heading towards this side of the field the field is slightly darker and as I'm making my turn around away from the sun the field gets a little brighter now 
if the sun was out in full force heading towards the sun, the field would be a much darker field due to the white balance. And as you are turning around and heading towards the opposite side away from the sun, and if the sun was out, the field will be a lot brighter. Now, at this cloudy conditions, uh, this VTX is doing fantastic. Everything is clear in view. Uh, with that 600 TV line camera, uh, it is fantastic. You can see everything. And the best part about this VTX, guys, it's the LED display in the back. You can adjust the frequency and you can adjust the channel and the output power and it is all visible of what channels you are on and what frequency you are on and it is doing fantastic here the thing has a field of view of a hundred and twenty degrees so you always have the object you are turning around in view of your peripheral vision as I'm turning around in here at 150 meter mark one more time it is doing fantastic it only has minor static lines so that is really nice now this has eight bands and a race band and it equals to 72 channels now that is a lot of channels for such a small vtx i thought 40 channels was the norm but now they're raising the bar and going up to 72 channels and as i'm turning around the car over here the 120 degree field of view is doing fantastic you got everything in view as you're turning around so that is really nice and the weight of this vtx is only five grams so it is perfect for your tiny whoop type application and you can stick it on anything as big as this mjx bugs 3 so it is a really nice little vtx to have and the price is way way better and the performance is just as good as one of those FX797T type all-in-ones. Now, here I am. I'm coming down for a landing. I thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and share. And have a great day.